As the NFL playoff teams work towards the Super Bowl, the Purple made plans for next season. Some serious moves need to be made. We're breaking it down. The buzz is nearly back. Indoor lacrosse set to jumpstart at the X. The league's top scorer is in the house. It's racing at its best with one of the sport's youngest and top racers in the country. And the chef's in the house. His top choice at seven. All that and more. It's game on. You have found us in the heart of Minneapolis. Game on, powered by Seven Steakhouse Sushi, Ultra Lounge, and Sky Bar, downtown's ultimate event destination at Block E, where every seat is the best seat in the house. And hello once again, and a belated Happy New Year to you. Rod Simons, Game On TV. Couldn't be more excited to have you with us as the NFL playoffs continue. The bowl games finally behind us. One question, though, are you sticking to your New Year's resolutions? We're working on that, too. And we have a lot to talk about because as the NFL season winds down, a lot of other sports are kind of kicking into gear. We're touching on all those. But as you know, we get game on rolling by the numbers. And when you look at the numbers, the Vikings, as you know, in the season three and 13, they will select third in the NFL draft on April 26th through the 28th. Super Bowl is February 5th in Indianapolis. The Wolves will have seven more January home games. And Twins Fest at the Dome is January 27th through the 29th. Spring training is arriving quickly, too. Delighted to start Game On, powered by Seven, your ultimate event destination with this guy. You recognize him? Fan favorite Bob Lertzema in the house. In the house. How do you like Seven? This is, I can't believe it, your first time here. Well, there's so many places down in the yeah. city area, you don't yeah. get a chance to go every place, but this has four different floors. and. It's the uh, the way it's decorated, nothing mm -hmm. short of spectac spectacular. Great food, as you oh. will find out in just a couple of minutes, right here, only on Game On. Okay, let's break it down. Vikings playoffs are raging all around us, but the Vikings are out and they're starting to make some moves. You say they have a lot of work to do. Yeah, uh, they they truly do. And and here's the thing that happens on the offensive side of the ball. Now I'm talking strictly as a defensive. And they don't run enough reverses, short passes. And when, when I have no reason to look for a reverse or right. a quarterback option, all I'm going to do is to get off the ball aggressively and then close faster. Right. Now, remember, defensive end, and the defensive end, both of us are starting to go like this from both sides against right. the Vikings. We shorten down the hole right. that Adrian Peterson can run in. Right. You've got to have this. Uh, make me think, make me stay home, don't let me be aggressive. And that's the part I think the offense is really lack. I, I have problems with the offensive play calling completely, but let's talk about first things first. The draft is coming up in April. They have the third pick. Are we in agreement that they could trade that pick down and get a few more players? Or do you say take a wide, maybe perhaps a wide receiver at three? Both, because here's what I'm saying. It's supposed to be really deep for right. wide receivers yes, this year. Is. Yes. So trade and get a couple wide receivers because you have got to, to get have an opportunity to have somebody get deep. Right. Because otherwise, just like we talked earlier, right. you know, with me not having to think. Same with your with your safeties. They're coming up on line of scrimmage because nobody's going deep. And once you they think you can't go deep, puts more pressure on Adrian Peterson. Right. So they're, they're hurting themselves on the running game Def by not having a deep threat. You happy with Christian Ponder? Very much so. Very, very much so. Even though last year um, I said during the draft, right. the court, I said go with Andy Dalton. He would not have been a bad pick. No, but Christian Ponder, I'm 100% behind yep. him. And the only thing I was worried about Christian and, and why I, 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 I liked Dalton over Christian, he was injury prone right. down in Florida State. So if, if that's, um, is that a carryover? Because Bud Grant always said, you know, you can pick out who's going to be in the tub in the first week and who's not going to be there. And, and you hope he's not injury prone yeah. because it's kind of contagious. I like the kid a lot. I love the kid. Bench warmer Bob is in the house. It's game on. We're talking football, talking purple, how they get better. Only here on Game On. Game on? Game on. And you can always catch up with us and get the latest on your teams at our site. It's GameOnTVMN.com. Great blogs. Shockers Locker covers the Vikings from A to Z. We have Twins, Baseball, The Wild, The Wolves, MMA. We link you to our Viking partner site, PurplePride.org. Check us out. It's GameOnTVMN.com. Fans always have a voice here on Game On. It's Voice of the Fan brought to you by the best Viking fan site, PurplePride.org. Question is, without the Vikings, 
What are you doing on Sunday? I will just try to find a way to get through it and dream about the upcoming draft. The higher the pick, the better, but I'll settle for what we can get. On. We're giving Matt the NFL experience of a high-pressure field goal. Oh, oh, look out! Oh, it's terrible, man! There's an easier way to get an ultimate NFL fan experience. Just snap the tag wherever Bud Light is sold and you could win. Bud Light in the NFL. Here we go. Hey, it gets easier. Really? <laughs> no. According to his mother, Kevin Love's first word was mine. The best way to see Kevin Love, Ricky Rubio, and Michael Beasley is with a 10-game flex pack. Sit where you want, when you want. For as little as 80 bucks, build yours at Timberwolves.com slash flex. The Minnesota Timberwolves. United we run. Seven is the ultimate fine dining and entertainment destination. There's three levels of distinct and unforgettable experiences ahead. Seven is the winner of the prestigious Open Table Diner's Choice Award. It's memorable. You'll never forget Seven's five-star steakhouse. Seven's award-winning menu. Seven Sushi is not only unique, but unrivaled. And Seven's view is sweeping and magnificent year-round. Seven offers catering, the ease of front door valet, and unforgettable service. It's Seven, downtown Minneapolis, your ultimate event destination. Now you can sell your gold and get a great wireless deal in one stop. We'll show you. The twins at BC Wireless offer prepaid plans with recurring billing, no contracts, no credit checks. At BC Wireless, we offer T-Mobile, Simple Mobile, Boost Mobile, and gold. BC Wireless also buys your gold. BC Wireless with two metro locations and growing. For gold and prepaid wireless, it's BC Wireless. Los atendemos en español. Welcome back. Happy New Year to you, but and Happy New Year to you. Sure. Here with the bench warmer, only on Game On Powered by Seven, your ultimate event destination. Great to have you with us on this Sunday. You know, I'm watching all these bowl games, and I'm watching Boise State and some of these creative college teams. And don't tell me that we can't call a creative, offensive game in the National Football League. Denver is proof, whether you like them or not, Denver is proof that you can get creative with the old style game. Why can't we do that here? I have no idea. But you agree? <laughs> I hate to say that. Totally, total agreement. Look at Sean Payton. You yes. know, with New Orleans, you never know what he's gonna do. Absolutely. Never know what he's gonna do. It drives me crazy. And I know it drives people around me crazy too, because it it actually would lead to good things happening with this football team. Oh, I know. They have the horses, Percy Harvin and Adrian Peterson, all these guys. By the way, Adrian, you you feel he's going to be all right? Yeah, because of the great condition he's in. And, and, and uh, a lot of people have come back from that. Running back's a lot tougher. Yeah. But lucky with his work ethic and, and the shape that he's in, he'll, yeah. he'll be okay. Got some emails from fans kind of taking issue with the high spirit that the Viking brass has into this offseason, saying, like, we can get this thing turned around quickly. There are teams that have done it. Do you think that, that it's in the Vikings' DNA to make that happen? Absolutely. And, and I, I know I bleed purple and everything. I know. I'm going to be nothing yeah. positive. But you got to steal the draft last year in yes. Kyle Rand, uh, Rudolph. Yeah. I mean, why didn't throw the Well, they've done that a few times with uh, Peterson, with, with Harvin. Mercy, that's right. Oh, my goodness. They, so they do have a, a draft yeah. pedigree. Yeah, but, but, but you have to master the five and ten yard passes. Right. That's why I thought they'd do a little bit more of that with, with Christian Ponder. Right. You know, and, and then if you add that deep threat, then you're going to have a very successful, very unpredictable yeah. offense. And so your feeling is the Vikings had in the offseason. A few OTAs, some time to work on some things, they're going to be okay? Yes, uh, Ponder and the receivers have to get on the same page. Okay. There's so many of those routes that are timing routes. Right. And Christian, if there's one thing he's got to learn is to use the out of bounds to his favor. If, if it's seven and a half yards square out, it's seven and a half yards. Yeah. Discipline on the receivers and then Christian Pond. And the ball's waiting for you right there. Okay, you, had a, you got an appetite? Yeah, I'm starving. Okay. You told me you feed oh. me here. Uh, game on. Come game on. on, we're coming. 
Food with Chef Colin and racing and everything else. It's only here. It's game on. Food on. That's what I want. Fans are back. Sound off time and voice of the fan brought to us by purplepride.org. Without your Viking Sunday, what are you up to these days? It's going to be time just to think, focus on next year, find out what we need to do, fill some gaps in that offensive line, look at some secondary players. Let's get going. Skull Vikings, go on! We'd love to have you join us for a live game on taping here at 7 Block E downtown. Check our website for all the up-to-date guest lists. Coming up, Glenn Perkins of the Twins, Kevin Love of the T-Wolves, Mike Grant of Eden Prairie, racer Levi Lavalle, and so many more. Stay in touch with us via Facebook, Twitter. All our shows are on iTunes as well. It's Game On TV. Ever feel like you're missing out on mobile internet because smartphone plans cost too much? T-Mobile's here to help with America's largest 4G network. Facebook, <laughs> gaming, entertainment. T-Mobile gives you all this for just $49.99. Introducing T-Mobile's best plan ever. Unlimited data, talk, and text. Two lines, just $49.99 each for a limited time. From America's largest 4G network. T-Mobile. Check out our latest 4G smartphones like the HTC Sensation and the MyTouch 4G Slide. We don't play lacrosse for the money, the fame, or the perks. We play lacrosse for the brotherhood, the thrill, the love of the game. We are your Minnesota Swarm. And we are ready to work. Welcome back your Minnesota Swarm at XL Energy Center, Saturday, January 28th at 7 p.m. when they take on the Buffalo Bandits on Treasure Island Field. Reserve your seats now at mnswarm.com. Being creative is who we are. At Wallingburg and Deeply, Families are our passion. We help create new families. This combination of experience, passion, and creativity allows us to fully represent individuals in family court crises. Walling, Berg, and Deeply believes in families. We will listen, counsel, and advocate for you. Walling, Berg, and Deeply, the premier family law firm of Minnesota. Twin City Wireless doesn't care about our competitors. We care about you, the customer. We care that you get the best prices. Plans starting at $40 a month, unlimited text, talk, international text, and internet. Twin Cities Wireless carries all the latest models of phones and accessories and handles all service providers. At Twin City Wireless, your problem is our problem. Twin City Wireless now has two locations, Brooklyn Center and Northeast Minneapolis. Twin City Wireless is not just business, it's personal. Welcome back. It's Game On, powered by Seven, your ultimate event destination. Lurtzy back with us, and we brought in Chef Colin. We're at the Best Steakhouse, and so what we've been doing lately is t having a sampling of some of your great food. And you and I were talking about leading up to the Super Bowl and some of the dishes that really are spectacular, and you've picked something great tonight. Yeah, well, I picked three of my favorites. Uh, we have, starting with a sausage and pepper, so it's a spicy Italian sausage, a homemade tomato sauce, roasted peppers, a little Parmesan cheese. Then we're moving to a, a great salad. It's uh, our homemade mozzarella with uh, tomatoes, basil. It's, it's kind of our twist on a, uh, a classic, a little olive oil on top. And then we have uh, one of the ultimates. We have the uh, double cut pork chop. And I put that on some purple Vikings potatoes, as nice. I call them. Nice. Oh, and we have, good, yeah, good call. Good call, right? And then we have some asparagus and some demi glace on there. Let's dig in. No. <laughs> Say something. Well, you know what? But I got caught. If Let's you go. don't use your knife and fork, you still, this is a great way to get a pork chop, especially when you have the bone and he has the bone. It's like a state fair, you know? It is. It's a pork chop on a natural stick. It is so good and tender. Last week we had a ribeye. This week we had a pork chop all leading up to the Super Bowl. Next week you'll have something special for us as well. Oh, we got some real special stuff next week. We're nice. going to be dipping into the old sushi. Ooh, I like that. Chef? You are the man. Hey, and we'll have a link much. to Chef Collins' information, GameOnTVMN.com. We're going to let Lurtzy finish up here. Oh, yeah. Only here. I, on. I don't know why I have not been down here. I mean, there's so many things down in downtown Minneapolis. Yes. But when you go to Game On, you're going to find these spots.
And you may not recognize this fresh 17-year-old face, but she's the pride of Zambroda, Minnesota. Casey Trom, how are you? I'm good, how about Welcome you? Welcome to Game On. Yeah, thank you for having me. She is the first female racer in 54 years to win. Uh, Junior Hornets. Junior Hornets. Yep. So bring on all the guys and you dust them in racing. Oh yeah, I sure do. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm really excited. You have been racing since you were knee high to a grasshopper, what, like 10 years old or something? About 14 years old. 14 years old? Yep. And your first race is, you're kind of in a quiet time right now. For uh, In April, you'll start up again. Yep. And what is the key, what's the secret to your success? Uh, probably just, probably working on my car, uh, getting ready for the next season, suiting up and everything, just waiting for that green flag to drop again. You're going to high school now, you got a very busy schedule. Mm -hmm. Do you plan to go to college? I plan to go to college. Um, I hope to race during college. Can actually. you do it all? I want to try to. I don't know how successful it'll be, but I'm going to yeah. try for it. I'm holding this list of almost 200 racers nationwide, and your name is right there at number six. Yep. That's, that's got to be pretty exciting to look at that and to see all those names. Oh, and, yeah. But you've worked hard to get there. What, worked really hard, yeah. What is it? Attention to detail? What What is it that makes you special? Uh, I don't know, just um, getting my car out there, just racing and running my best and hoping for the best and actually finishing a race. So your next race is in April when? Uh, I think April 5th. Okay. Around there, so beginning of April. It's coming up fast. It's coming up fast, yep. Will you keep us posted along the I, way? I sure will, yes. <laughs> Casey Trump, you're going to hear this name because there are few females as good as her on the race course. Great to have you with us. Thank you. Thank you very much. Only here on Game On. Fans are always on our radar, never left out. Voice of the Fan brought to us by purplepride.org. Now that the Vikings are out, how are you spending your Sunday? Start looking forward to the draft, seeing seeing what holes need to be filled for the team and uh, continue to follow them that way. I enjoyed the draft. I'll probably watch some college football and some highlights and go from there. Get the party started, dial it. Pit bull together with Bud Light, here we go. Now you can sell your gold and get a great wireless deal in one stop. We'll show you. The twins at BC Wireless offer prepaid plans with recurring billing, no contracts, no credit checks. At BC Wireless, we offer T-Mobile, Simple Mobile, Boost Mobile, and gold. BC Wireless also buys your gold. BC Wireless with two metro locations and growing. For gold and prepaid wireless, it's BC Wireless. Los atendemos en español. Hi, this is Brian Layton of GB Layton. Welcome to your nightouttwincities.com. We are excited to bring the newest, the most comprehensive local entertainment website to the Twin Cities and the surrounding communities. This is the most affordable way to promote your business, bar none. With a few clicks, the perfect night or day is planned. Restaurants, accommodations, nightclubs, bands, entertainment, events, specials, and more. Fast, easy, and fun. Your night out is in the palm of your hand. Welcome back to Game On. The buzz is back in town. The Swarm are back in business. This is the leading scorer of the NLL and the Minnesota Swarm. Ryan Benesch is in the house. Great to have you here. Great to be here. The leading scorer of the league. That's pretty cool stuff. Yeah. Did it sink in over the off season? You know what, a little bit, yeah. Uh, I try not to, not to think about it too much. I mean, you know, I, I'm not uh, that kind of guy that uh, likes to gloat around and say, oh, I got points this, blah, 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 you know. I don't take credit for it. I always give credit to my teammates, you know. They're the ones that help me out. And, they're the ones that uh, allow me to do my thing. And I talked to a number of your teammates, including uh, Joe Sanoski, and a lot of the guys were saying that you guys are coming into this season kind of with a chip on your shoulder, knowing that you have unfinished business because you really have come so close. Yeah, we have. Uh, I mean, last year, you know, we went eight and eight, and 
No, we really should have won that first playoff game against Washington, but uh, unfortunately things didn't go our way. So, uh, yeah, you know, we got some new faces on the team this year. So, you know, we got a lot of guys that are, uh, you know, ready to prove that they uh, have a lot to offer this team. So uh, it's going to be a real exciting season. You've been Rookie of the Year. You were a number one draft choice. So you come with your own expectations. Yeah, definitely. Um, obviously, I have expectations for myself. Uh, right. You know, it's, I've been like that my whole life. Uh, you know, my, it started from my dad, too. I mean, uh, my first game in uh, Junior A lacrosse, he made me a deal that uh, if I was to win Rookie of the Year of the Junior A League, that, you know, he'd buy me my first truck. So, uh, you know, I, I ended up winning Rookie of the Year then. He bought me my truck, and ever since then, you know, I kind of have uh, expectations to, to do good things in lacrosse. So you start on the 28th against Buffalo, at least for the home side of the uh, of the ledger, and the crowds are getting bigger and bigger and bigger at the XL, and I know that makes a difference. Oh, for sure. I mean, when you walk into the arena, you step on the turf, and you see you know 10,000 plus fans out there. You just get so you get so excited, and you you know you get the energy that you never had before, and yeah. you know you feed off the crowd a lot, and then, you know it's just one thing people don't really realize is that uh, we need their energy to. To, to put out some extra energy of, of our own. It is a tough game and they do need your support. And if you have never been to a lacrosse, a professional lacrosse game, they're missing out. It is one of the greatest activities and events you can you can check out. Ryan Banish, thank you for being with us. Congratulations on all your success. Win another scoring title this year. Hey, it'd be nice, it'd be nice. Gonna make it happen. The Swarm are back, the buzz is back. Be telling me all about it coming up, only here on Game Up. Each week we take note of the game on standout of the week. We call them the dip shop real deal. It's the Packers. Green Bay season of wonder will be lost if they lose today to the New York football giants. Packers are 15 and one. Aaron Rodgers is a surefire MVP. So here we go. Later today on Fox, that's the real deal. A taste of the light way to check it out. It's the new dip shop. That's two P's, the dip and don't forget, you can always keep up with the Timberwolves and the NBA with my weekly blog at Simon Says. It's at Timberwolves.com. And we keep you connected with all things inside the team. It's part of a great NBA website, all at your fingertips. Interactive, and we actually ask you to send in your thoughts at rod at gameontvmn.com. Look for a new weekly blog. Simon Says, every Thursday, only at Timberwolves.com. Seven is the ultimate fine dining and entertainment destination. There's three levels of distinct and unforgettable experiences ahead. Seven is the winner of the prestigious Open Table Diner's Choice Award. It's memorable. You'll never forget Seven's five-star steakhouse. Seven's award-winning menu. Seven Sushi is not only unique, but unrivaled. And Seven's view is sweeping and magnificent year-round. Seven offers catering, the ease of front door valet, and unforgettable service. It's Seven, downtown Minneapolis, your ultimate event destination. Ever feel like you're missing out on mobile internet because smartphone plans cost too much? T-Mobile's here to help with America's largest 4G network, Facebook, <laughs> gaming, entertainment. T-Mobile gives you all this for just $49.99. Introducing T-Mobile's best plan ever. Unlimited data, talk, and text. Two lines, just $49.99 each for a limited time. From America's largest 4G network, T-Mobile. Check out our latest 4G smartphones, like the HTC Sensation and the MyTouch 4G Slide. Walling, Berg, and Deebly believes in families. We understand and support families in all their many forms. And when legal problems arise in the family, Walling, Berg, and Deebly is there. Walling, Berg, and Deebly, the premier family law firm of Minnesota. When you need us, call 612-326-3453 or visit wbdlaw.com. And it is time for the Mayak Minute. Wright Walling is back. Walling, Berg, Deebly, the founder of you, sir? Fine Firm. Nice to have you with us. Good to be here. Thank you for your sponsorship from the Mayak and from Game On. And, you know, Walling, Berg, and Deebly is so in tune with its community and so involved. How do you do it and, and why the Mayak? Well, the law firm uh, is always focused around families. We just celebrated 20 years. 
Nancy Berg and I, that since we formed the law firm, focusing not just on the sort of traditional family law, but more general family law, adoption, custody, grandparents, that sort of thing. So it was a natural move into a number of issues. We looked at the fact that we look at Division Three players, whatever the sport, men, women, and their commitment to doing it. They get no scholarship. Unbelievable, they get, yeah. Uh, they get a great education. Mayak has some great schools of education. Yes. But they are in there playing because they love soccer, volleyball, football, uh, whatever, whether it's St. Thomas, St. Olaf, whatever it might be. So we thought it was a natural extension to come to you and say, hey, this is a great idea. How about if we highlight some of those great athletes and great coaches that are yeah. doing such terrific work. Each and every week, and we're so grateful for that. And you mentioned adoption. That's something that brought us together a few years it ago. Did. Did. And we're, we've always been grateful for that. And you play a significant uh, role in the Simons Golf for the Gift golf tournament every summer. And do we have a date for this summer's tournament? We do. We have a date. It's June 21st. Nice. Uh, at Troy Burn again, great, great golf course and great event. Yes. Just outstanding. You were commenting that I think this is our fifth annual, and it's amazing to me we're up to five. I'm, I have a significant goal of what we want to earn this year, yeah. and the interest has just been phenomenal. And we thank Dave Tennis and his team out there. Dave Tennis and I uh, met years ago through adoption as well. Those of us in Minnesota are incredibly lucky. We have I agree. more adopted kids per capita than anyone. And we at Wallingburg and Deebly really commit ourselves to helping people do whatever their needs are in the family law area. And we thank Seven too because they have also played a very significant sponsorship role in our tournament as well. I agree with that. Let's also comment on where we are here. This is a phenomenal location oh. at the top of the restaurant here. Even though it's cold outside, it's just brilliant. I love this place. But no snow. Appreciate it. Take <laughs> Thank care, Thank you. Sir. Right Walling with us, as always, in the Mayak Minute. Time now for the Wheels of Thunder Week Ahead. The Vikings are off, as we all know. The Wolves get Sacramento and Detroit on the 16th and 18th. The Wild get Dallas on the 21st. Buffalo the 28th against the Swarm. The Twins are 40 days away from spring training and the caravan actually begins tomorrow. Check out twinsbaseball.com to find out when they're near you. Go for hockey against Colorado College, Northwestern against the men's basketball team, Michigan State on the 19th against the women. And the Wheels of Thunder Radar has racing in Glendon on the 28th and 29th. The Wisconsin ISOC Regionals in Plymouth, Wisconsin, the 4th of February, and the racing in Hill City at the end of February. And on the 7 radar, don't forget all those Wolves home games. Bring your game day ticket in to 7. You get a free complimentary beverage all home games this season, only here at 7. And guys, don't forget, make your reservations now. Valentine's Day is coming up. Take Rod's word for this. You come to seven, you'll have the most memorable Valentine's Day ever. And that's your Wheels of Thunder Week ahead. Ooh, busy show indeed. That's all the time we have for this Sunday. Thank you for letting us be a part of your Sunday. Don't forget all our updates at GameOnTVMN.com. And we'll look forward to seeing you next week right here. Have a great week and keep your game on.